Scorpio, how you doing? Welcome to your weekly reading here on the Astro Flower. I hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic. As per usual, thank you very much for the support you give to this channel. It's beautiful to see. Really lovely to see. There's a real sort of family feel about it. I love it. Uh, yes, so thanking you very much for that. Weekly reading here going from the 22nd through to the 29th of July. Uh, Earth energy is coming through. So this should help you get on and get projects done, get the nitty gritty done, get things sorted, uh, get things in alignment with yourself and everything like that. Uh, seems to be a lot of uh, revealing this week, coming week here as well. Revealing things about oneself, but also about what's going on around oneself. So, you know, just keep that in mind as we go through it. Here's your, over, here's your reading here. Here's your overall energies here. Is your karmic path for your relationship side, karmic path for your financial side, influence in the universe, influence from your past self, future self, lesson for the coming week uh, or the information that you should be taking out of this week. Let's just see what's going on for you. Okay, so there's quite a lot of energy playing into your past and future in relationship side. There is no doubt about that. And there seems to be a uh, sort of uh, homing in on, a, on an opportunity on your financial side. And the overall energies here are bringing in this sort of, um, you know, you're going to, it's a, play super hard at work, but also enjoy and relax in your life. And that's where, you know, there's, there needs to be, you need to be on fire this week, I think, more than anything else. I think you need to be really rocking and rolling and really going. Yeah, owning it. I think you need to be on fire this week. There's a lot of owning this situation on your financial side, but also owning the joyous thing of the past to future, the connection, the long-term relationships, the the enjoying of the moment, all of those sort of things, the progressive path of the emotions or the or the uh, relationships that are around you or even of your spiritual path, whatever it is. And it's just owning, sitting in your power and really owning it. And I think it's sitting in your enjoyment more than anything else. Uh, let's just see what's going on in your relationship side. Yeah, your karmic path is, is immovable, like a pillar. Uh, it's like a real point of reference in your life in regards to your relationship side here. It's not, it's not pointing in one direction. It's not pointing to another card. It's very much on its own. It's like there's a, it's like a, um, a marking point or someone that you're going to meet that really affects your life in a way. And it seems like this is a karmic meeting point uh, for you. Um, the universe is playing out into the world, so this is where I think you can open up, start seeing what is possible, enjoying the moment uh, more than anything else. <coughs> your past self is playing into your future self, and they seem to be coming together actually at a point. And I think this could well be this karmic mission or karmic um, point of reference within your life, which is really um, defining that transition from past to future. So it could be like a relationship that you've been in for some time uh, and it's very established now, but now it's moving on to the next level. And it's a very progressive, sure thing. Uh, it could be within you where you kind of feel very comfortable within who you are and what you're doing and how you're putting yourself out there in life within your relationships or within the social world that is around you. And this is where you can like kind of going, okay, I feel comfortable about what, who I am, what I'm doing now. Let's just take it to the next level. You know, um, the message that comes out of the past here, it's just like a thumbs up. It's just sort of say, like, yeah, doing well. You know, that sort of thing. And your future self is kind of going, bring it on. It's like this, there is this sort of like go to and fro, that, which is really nice. And what's the lesson for this week here on your relationship side? Time to open up. I've, I want a song to come to my head. I can't get the song yet, but there seems to be a song that wants to come out of this. And it, it, maybe it's a case of 
learning to sing with life. It's a very big possibility. Learning to sing your way through life. That's the sort of thing. Okay, five of uh, pentacles here. Um, yeah, this card here is all about being out in the cold. And I think this is like maybe you taking a stance and saying, um, you know, you're not going to put up with it anymore. Sort of scenario which allows people to kind of go, all right, okay, okay. And then that helps them to make decision. And therefore it makes things clearer for you. And I think this is a real blessing in a way to sort of like, for you to stand within you and within your own power. And it's not, it's like, it's almost as if sort of saying, I like being with this person, but I don't need this person. I want to be with this person, but I don't need to be with this person, if you know what I mean. It's, it's, it's a mixed bag here, uh, but it's a transitional sort of thing. You know, you're going past this point of reference. The Queen of uh, Pentacles, yeah, you're going after your path. This is why she's playing outwards. You know, you're going after your path. You've decided, and, and this is where you're going to own it. And this is where you may feel like you're a little bit, you know, it's almost as if you're, like, you're standing outside of what's going on and you're looking in. And you're just observing it a little bit like you're observing a film and enjoying the film. You're enjoying what's around you. But you are taking a particular path. Look at that. As I said, the past here, this is the Knight of Cups. This is obviously some sort of communication or offering that came into your life that you feel comfortable with now. Um, and uh, it's now time to come in out of the cold, as it were, through this meeting of this, maybe this other person that you've known or you know at the moment. Uh, and as you meet them, as you go forward into this offering, hey, you get the Five of, five of um, Cups. This is both two transitional cards here. And this is big understanding. This is this coming in out of the cold here and letting go of all disappointments in the past because you're moving on to those two cups there. Because you're getting into alignment with this other offering that was brought into your life. And it's stopping any disappointments within, within you because you're taking this pathway. It could be a case of that you've been looking for love here and um, and you seem to have lost faith in a little bit of love. So you're going out and finding it. And I, it, whichever way it is, it's like you've got to own it and really enjoy it. And that's why the Emperor card is there. And look at that out the top. The lesson is the Ten of Cups. And that comes, that Ten of Cups there at Cup. At that, but, 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 that Ten of Cups, this Ten of Cups here, comes out of these two fives here and this is all the you know happiness after difficulty and yes I think there is um, you know I think there is a degree of taking a stance here uh, within because it's you because you want to because it you deserve to uh, and I think it's a little I think it's gonna pay off uh, this stance I think you're gonna um, say goodbye to disappointments more than anything else because you're walking out after your own happiness and i think that's what the learning curve is for you this week more than anything else enormously um a real realization that my happiness only depends upon me really then i once i'm happy then i can combine my happiness with other people i can share my happiness with other people but until i've got the happiness within me um, and I don't think you want to be dependent upon another person in order to be happy. And I think that's what that whole sort of thing about sort of like, I want to be with this person, but I don't need to be with this person sort of scenario going on. And that's actually giving you a lot of strength about life. It's making you feel a lot more secure about yourself. On your financial side, your job, your business or your projects, um, let's just see what's going on for you here. Hmm. Okay, the, um, it's playing between, this is quite new, playing between the past self and the calm and the universal energies here. So it's sort of like, um, it's something that's um, in the past that is connected to your intuition. There's something, okay, so it's like you're feeling something that, it's like you're progressing on your path, you're driving down the motorway and you're just kind of going, 
do you know, it's a bit of weight, it's a bit of a sound or something like that. And you realise that actually one of the straps holding on the, the luggage on the roof or out in the back of the car or whatever, or there's a door slightly open. And it's just a little thing that's just something in the past that probably you need to sort of like, just kind of go stop, deal with and go. That's what it's sort of kind of going on here. Um, and you're on the universal energies, Universal Energies is encompassing the, the past and the future, but it's, it's all about a, a lesson or the, the decision that needs to be taken here. And that's a decision according to your past because your karmic path is sort of going between the two. And this is allowing you to sort of like, um, you know, make that decision to stop, quickly adjust the situation and then restart. You won't lose that much time. I think you won't lose any benefits you get. Uh, in the future, I think you'll get a lot more benefits because you'll feel a lot more comfortable within the, you know, within the car um, because you've shut the door or shut the window properly or whatever it is, you know, sort of scenario within your life, okay? Um, it wants to go towards the Emperor card, the past thing, but there's something holding it back and that's that sort of thing that needs to get sorted in the past to your future. And your future self here is really, it's playing almost beyond the choice or the lesson that needs to be learned this week that is coming in from the universe as well, that is encompassing the two, as if to sort of say, once you make this decision, you actually define a lot further in your future. And your lesson that should be learned out of this week here, uh, it's something to do with the past. These two are playing with each other here. There's something, there's something you really need to learn from the past, basically. Yeah, it's a learning curve for you. A page of Wands here with something that you're getting on with doing your passions. The page is learning to be a knight going off on a mission. It's not actually really going off on a mission per se, but this is the learning about sort of like driving the vehicle and kind of recognising the sounds of the car, the this, this, this shaking of the car, and realising if there's a problem with a tyre or something like that. You know, there's a this is what you're learning here and it's it's um helping you to be a lot more precise and this is where the overall energy comes in it plays into this future card here more than anything else the overall energy is here and this is what you need to put it in the place so you can really seize upon this one opportunity that's coming your way the universe here is all about it's going towards the lesson to be learned and the universe is trying to bring in coincidences to show you how good the good work you've done and you may be annoyed at yourself that you didn't check the, the door or the, the straps uh, or whatever it is. You might be annoyed at yourself that you didn't check it, but you've also got to realise how much you've actually done just to get in the car and going. And I think this is where, you know, people have realised around you kind of going, uh, you'll be kind of going, ah, oh, there's, there's a door open. I've got, oh, I can't believe I missed the door. And I kind of go, well, you, you pat the entire car. So you left the door open just a little bit. It's fine. You know, it's, it's like, and people are recognizing that around you. With the Six of Cups, uh, sorry, with the past self, you get the Six of Cups. Now this is about this, this is, I think about, yeah, it could be as simple as that, of just, you know, stopping and going on, is this past thing is about being nice to yourself. It's a gift for yourself, it's encouraging for yourself. And being really nice to yourself, um, helps you to realize the good work you've done in your life, but also it gives you that opportunity of the, your future. It really does build into that opportunity of your future. And look at that. On your future, which goes even much further on, according to the, to the lesson or the decision that you make this week here, puts you ultimately in the position of power. And this is where it comes, it streamlines it into one thing that really um, brings you in the results, brings you financial rewards, uh, brings you security, uh, makes you feel a lot more relaxed and at ease, and then therefore you can be very sociably connected um, with a lot more ease about life. But whatever it is, it really does empower you, this opportunity that's coming out your way. And the lesson, that is tied to this here, as I say, the Six of Cups, be nice to yourself. This is all about connecting to your higher self and being good about yourself. And that's when I think you're going to realise your strengths. Once you start doing that, Rather than constantly sort of saying, oh, I've got to do this, I've got to do that, oh, I'm not good enough. You know, 
and or being stressed that you know being too good the world is round but it's not smooth nothing is perfect you know there's valleys there's mountains there's loads of ups and downs in life and it's just like you know it's just be easy on yourself when climbing that hill and enjoy your time when you're going down it you know uh, i think that's a real lesson you need to learn on your financial sort of side Let's see what's going on with the Lightseers card. With the Emperor card, you get the seven of, seven of Swords. A lot of wisdom coming in here for you. Playing smarter, avoiding complications because you stand in your power. And you stand good to you and you sort of like, you know, on your financial side, you know, you be gentle with yourself. Uh, and on your relationship side, it's going after your happiness. That's, you're, you're, you're really starting to know how to play the energies. Look like that. Five of Swords, uh, Five of Pentacles, sorry, with the Queen of Wands. I thought we had the King of Wands somewhere, we didn't, no. Um, yeah, Five of Wands, so being very... It's like you're, you're generating a lot of passion and energy for your pathway. This is this whole idea that you don't need to be with someone but you would want to be with someone or you don't need to be like this you want to be like this in your life and it's coming very very blatantly clear out of all the options there's one light that's just really shining brightly for you and i think that's what the queen of swords is about you're taking on this responsibility of following your path um you know having yeah you're manifesting it all you're manifesting it all. I think you're manifesting your happiness and that. You really are. Yes, there's a bit of a transition as you go through something. And I think it's the, the transition is just starting to be like you should be. And then once you start following that pathway and then you recognise it is a chosen pathway for you, it's very sociable, connects you with a lot of other people that you may never have met before which opens a lot of doors of happiness for you, um, that's when you can really start manifesting that beautiful joy in your life. And there is an offering, and it could be an offering for, you know, from an old friend that you haven't seen that lives miles away, you know, on the other side of the country, and you just kind of go, oh, I'll go and see him. And that's what opens up. Yeah, there's a choice here that's tied into that, that Knight of Cups. I think it's a no-brainer, personally, I think as well when the two of swords is like when you make that decision that's when you become the queen of swords and that's when you can start manifesting the beautiful things in your life the moment you start making a choice about this offer for you that came into you i think that's when you start letting go in your future letting go of all disappointments and you get that two of cups scenario where you are want to be just happy in the relationship and look at that, with the Five of Cups, you get the Empress card. You've got the Emperor card on the overall energies. Yes, I think it makes you feel incredibly fulfilled in the future because you're making this decision. And it creates something completely new for you with the Empress card and brings you a lot into your life. Makes your life uh, emotionally, spiritually, energetically a much richer experience for you. With the Ten of Cups, you get the six of wands. I get fishy. You're, you're going to be laughing your way down your pathway if you follow your path and start manifesting the happiness that you want. And I think you're really going to be laughing a lot. And I think it's going to bring, it's going to be a bit of a glow up. I think people are kind of going, do you know what? That Scorpio there, wow. Wonder what their name is. Do you know what I mean? That sort of thing. That's the sort of thing that's coming into it. And it's like, you're ready to shine here, uh, Scorpio ready to shine in some really beautiful energies in regards to your relationship side and i think it's tied into this offering here and this decision major major times for you beautiful thing with the page of wands you get the hangman okay so hangman seeing things differently this is where this is a learning process about your passions in life um so if you're passionate about doing this business or this project or um, uh, this career path, um, I think you need to see every angle of where you're going 
and then you'll recognize those little bits of grit that you don't need in the mechanics you know that little bit of stuff that need, it doesn't need to be there and that's going to cause problems for you in the future and that's what the karmic path seems to be doing before you really steam off into your getting into alignment with yourself with the lovers card i think this week here is is a moment of seeing things in a different way uh and it's i think it's according to you how you see yourself more than anything else yeah look at that with the three of um of pentacles you get the king of cups that's quite nice you now got the king of pentacles and the king of cups on this side you've got the queen of swords and the queen of wands there's all the energies you want really around you everything that you possibly need and here is to do with the outcome um or the um the opportunity this this king of pentacles here and i think it's like you've just got to be very relaxed about it this this big opportunity that comes in you don't want to be kind of going oh thank you very much thank you thank you you want to be kind of going yeah i knew it was coming i knew yeah i know this is what i gotta do you know cool hand luke about it i think really you know be very cool about it be very composed and sort of kind of yeah matter of fact in a way you know i think this is what you know is going to empower you even more and clarify a lot on this opportunity with the six of cups you get the three of cups this is really nice because now you've got the three of pentacles and the three of cups with the king of cups and the king of pentacles this is beautiful earth water energies so this is all sort of to do with capricorn or cancers uh people that are around you um, but this beautiful offering that you're giving yourself is all about how joyous the experience of uh you know starting that project or starting that business um you know um starting that youtube channel whatever it is it's it's all about that um and i think here is where you need to have it you need to see things from all angles here to realize the things that are holding you back but also to realize the things that are that are, are really in line with you more than anything else it's a tower moment with the king of pentacles as I said, I think this is a massive, it's, it's, one, it's one big opportunity that's coming your way, this tower here. As I said, with the overall energies that come out of this, this is what that playing smart's all about. Um, it's the dispelling of an old belief system. And uh, it's an old belief system that you're kind of going, oh, I've been hard on myself because I can't believe I didn't recognize that. This week here, you're taking your time, you're learning about your passions, you're seeing things in a different way, or you should be seeing things in a different way and owning it and just being very comfortable about it and that's what the tower moment's going to be i think it's a stark realization within you and that stark realization makes you incredibly empowered cool that is the difficult thing that's why i know it's a bit of a tower moment now it's a good tower moment but this lover thing is a leap of faith And this leap of faith needs to happen and when we do do a leap of faith it's going to be good but it's not perfect perfection does not exist right you know uh, perfection is an illusion the world is round it's not smooth did i just say that to you i think i did actually the world is round it's not smooth you know, and it could well be into this. <laughs> uh, the world is round, but it's not smooth. And I think here is, it's like, in order to you to be in alignment with your higher self, you know, if you miss something, if you miss that strap, that, as I said, when you're tying up something in your plans for your life uh, and preparing to do that business or that project, if you miss a strap, once you're in alignment with yourself, the wind will blow in a way that that strap will not actually cause any problems and that's when you're in alignment with your higher self and that's when you can really start manifesting a beautiful future but there's a big big opportunity and the only way it's going to come about is if you um are less hard upon yourself and much more congratulating to yourself and that's what you should be putting out there that's what you should be making you wiser that's what's going to help you manifest your happiness on your relationship side as well. 
There you go, uh, Scorpio. Thanking you very much for being with us. Much appreciate all the support you give to us on this YouTube channel. Hope you're enjoying the energy videos that we're doing on this channel as well. If you want to see them as they come out, don't forget when you do subscribe to click that bell and click all notifications uh, so then you get the heads up on it. Uh, yes, thanking you very much. I will see you soon. In the meantime, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.